so i have asked a question that why potential energy is written in the negative work done by conservative force okay so some of you have replied the answer and given something like that if we are doing the work in any direction then in that particular direction potential energy decreases and something something and at some of the cases can be justified but not all the cases can be justified with this uh, theory that potential energy will decrease in the direction of work if we case we choose the case of the spring force then if we are displacing the block connected with the spring like this to this then the potential energy increases because potential energy is half ki x square and uh, in the direction of the pulling of the object or the displacement chosen the potential energy increases so it cannot be justified by this fact that potential energy will decrease or have the opposite sense with the displacement okay actually this is the mathematical part little bit and uh, given in the theories when we do the uh, when we study the classical mechanics in the bsc part or the graduation part then this theory comes and it's just simple mathematics nothing much complex so if we choose two positions a and b and we are bringing some particle of mass m from a to b um, and a force is applied force f is applied and while bringing this particle from a to b we are taking very small very small displacement that is dl and that dl can be on any path and any path we can choose very small displacement and we are studying a quantity listen carefully we are studying a quantity f dot dl you can say very easily that this is the work done ah uh, yeah this is true this is work done but uh, in the initial theory of classical mechanics there has not been written that this is the work done they have just said we are taking the dot product of the force with the displacement and they have not justified who, who have written the theory who are given the initial theory maybe in the uh, newton newtonian physics this has been written very clearly uh, the uh, the dot product of the force in the direction of dl we are not saying anything that this is the work done we are not saying this okay so this f dot dl will decide that the force is conservative or not conservative this is and then the theory what theory says uh theory says we are calculating f dot dl for different different path we can choose any of the path any any of the path we can choose and for any of the path we are calculating f dot dl okay and if this f dot dl is same is same for all the path we are taking is same for all the path we are taking then this force will be known as conservative force this force will be known as the conservative force and if this quantity is different for different different quantities then this force will not be conservative and may we can consider it as non conservative force okay now the theory arises when uh, some of you have studied in the if you have prepared for the je then the three formats of the conservative force has been described the constant force and then uh, the force having uh, x component in the i direction and then the third format perfect differential format these all th the three forces can be considered in the conservative force so uh, how it come okay so in the mathematics in the mathematics there is a quantity describes that is known as curl okay so if we take curl of this force 
so it can be written as like this curl of this force this is known as the curl if we calculate curl of this force then we can find all these three formats the theory of these formats is taught to you by teacher when you prepare for the competition exam so how we calculate curl this is very simple this force should be described in x y z coordinates so this force must have x y z and we can written as the fx and fy and fz the force will have three components in the three direction that is fx fy and fz so the procedure to calculate the curl we will take determinant i j k okay and now we will write dava of x dava of y dava of z partial and now what we will write we will write here fx fy and fz now the solving determinant is very easier for you you can solve this as considering i here now multiply this by this so fz minus fy and so on all the terms can be written all the terms can be written now how we will come to know that this force is conservative or not if all the coefficient of i j k all all components three all components are individually zero that means this all should be equal to zero this all then this force will be considered as conservative force okay and uh, the three formats the three formats are described by this theory the one is the constant force other is the fx i cap plus fy j cap plus fz k cap then third the perfect differential is also uh, originated from this theory so this is something very deep about the conservative forces now the most important question arises why potential energy is chosen as the negative of work done by the conservative force okay so we are studying a cons a quantity f dot dl and uh, now we we have idea that this f force is conservative force and this quantity is same for all the path we are choosing for going from a to b okay now you can easily say that this quantity this quantity is a state function this quantity is state function that is it is not depending on here 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 no 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 it is just depending on the initial state and the final state you can say initial position and the final position just depending on this quantity and just depending on this position so this the value of this quantity will be something here the value of this quantity will be something here okay so we can we are now considering a new quantity and this is a state function and also this is a scalar function a scalar function a scalar function you can easily say because we are taking the dot product okay so now we are writing f dot dl we are taking this f dot dl and minus minus u b minus u a and since we are considering the whole path from a to b so we will just integrate it f dot dl f dot dl is equal to minus of u b minus of u a minus we are taking now why we are taking this minus sign you will get the answer at the last of the derivation what is ub ub is just a quantity we are not giving any name here ub is just a quantity which is a scalar function and which is a state function which is a scalar function and which is a state function yeah, either you can say position function just depend on the position and what the definition you will get for the uh, potential energy that this is energy just due to the position of any particle just position so this is the potential energy we have written here potential energy at point b potential energy at point a 
okay and minus sign we have chosen we have chosen uh, what the significance and why we have chosen this you will get the answer at the last okay so we have gone from a to b okay we can giving this equation as equation number one we are giving this equation as equation number one now again we are doing some mathematics f dot dl f dot dl what we can write f is m a m a and what we can write for a dv vector upon dt dot dl dv vector upon d dt dot dl okay now what we can write in place of dl by dt dl by dt can be written as this can be written as f dot dl is equal to m dv dot v dv dot v okay now again a part of mathematics which you will do by yourself okay i am giving i am writing uh, this to this directly but you will write you will calculate this by directly okay so this can be written as this can be written as d of half mv square f dot dl can be written as d of half mv square now what we are doing we are going from a to b so we will consider integration a to b and here also integration from a to b so this will be same f dot dl from a to b is equal to integration of the d the d will be removed what will be there half mv square and we will put the limit for b we will put the limit for a so it will be half mv b square minus half mv a square okay and now it can be written as kinetic energy at b minus kinetic energy at a so this will be the equation number two this will be equation number two now just observe the equation one and two the left side of these equations are equal so right side of these equation are also equal okay so i am rubbing this and then again solving okay so the first equation was this second equation was this this equation we have written by ourselves we have chosen this f dot dl as the scalar function and for the b we have decided a quantity which is giving the value of f dl at the point b and we have written it as ub and same it as the ua so now the uh, for these both equations the left side are equal so rhs will also be equal so from these equations minus ub minus ua is equal to ke at b minus ke at a just open the bracket ub minus of ub plus ua is equal to ke at b minus ke at a now just transfer this a term to here ke at a plus ua is equal to ke at b plus ub what we know what we know about the laws what we have the idea in the 11th class there is first chapter that is physical world in the physical world some conservations are mentioned some conservations and in those conservations there is a conservation of energy the total energy of a system always remains constant always remains constant total energy always remains constant this is the total energy at a is equal to total energy at b law can never be overruled law can never be changed theorems can be changed but law cannot be because laws are just made by the nature scientist has observed the laws from the nature and just given a wonderful theory on the laws so total energy at a is equal to total energy at b all the calculation is correct all the calculation we have did nothing wrong now suppose 
if you have not chosen this minus sign here if you have not chosen this minus sign here what would happen what would happen let's see if you have not chosen minus sign here then this would be like this and this step has completely gone because there is just no meaning to open the sign. So this will be UB minus U8. So now KE will be this side and minus UB minus. This is completely wrong. Completely wrong. The minus sign has been taken here to just justify the conservation of energy. If you have not chosen the minus sign here, we cannot justify the law of conservation of energy. Conservation of energy is uh, always valid, always valid. So what we write, we write actual, what we will write actual, ki change in potential energy, UB minus UA, this minus sign can be written here, minus A to B, f dot dl and now this quantity is justified as the work done this is the work done now so this can be written as change in potential energy is equal to minus of work done by conservative force i just want to thank a Sivarma sir who has given us this wonderful theory in the uh, while we are doing the course of classical mechanics from the IIT Kanpur, uh, I, I didn't know all this theory three years back. Uh, I didn't know. If someone asked me at that time why this is the minus sign, then completely I, I, would, ha I would have the same reasons uh, as the sum of the students have described to me. I necessarily, necessarily I have given the same. But now, very much thanks to Sivarma sir that he has provided us the clear information, the clear theory about the conservative and non-conservative force. So why we choose potential energy as the minus sign of work done by conservative force? Because if we have not chosen the minus sign, then the law of conservation of energy will not be valid.